guys, it's Joyce. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I'll be trying high-end makeup products. So, yung ibang mga makeup products is nagamit ko na on my previous videos. And yung iba is bago. So, without further ado, let's just get started. We could be dancing in the stars. We could be floating all the way. For the primer, I'll be using the Never Ending Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Ayan. So, hindi pa rin kasi siya ubos. And sayang naman kung bibila ulit ako ng bago. So, busi ko muna to. Tapos saka ako bibili ng iba pang high-end na makeup na primer. Okay, so tapos ko na ilagay yung primer. And for the foundation, I'll be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Ayan. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Ay! <laughs> Maliktad. Ayan. In the shade... 21... 210N. Nagamit ko na to actually, pero hindi ko pa siya nagagamit like sa mga videos ko. And ito yung unang-unang high-end na foundation na meron ako. So, I'll be taking this sponge from Anna Kai. Tapos, i-aan ako. I... Si Set. I-sprayan ko ng MAC Fix Plus. So, yun. Ang tagal ko na rin palang hindi nag, ano, no? Makeup-related videos. Actually, this is a for full coverage siya pagkakaalam kong foundation. So, a little goes a long way. Parang ganun yung, ano yung effect niya. And, what I like about this one, hindi siya matte. Like, luminous. Like, from the product itself, kiniklaim niya na luminous siya. Well, totoo pang luminous siya. And, ang ganda ng finish. Gusto, bet na bet ko yung finish nito kasi, like, parang your skin but better. Or, depende sa pag a apply mo. Pero, for me, super ganda ng finish nito. Like, kahit isang pump lang, like, yun na yun sa buong mukha mo. And as you can see, kitang-kita niya naman. Ano siya, like, yellowish yung undertone niya. Pero not like yung pinaka-yellow na yellow. So, we're done sa foundation. And alam kong, like, maputi sa camera. But like, in person, super normal na yung look niya. Let's set it using this MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in the shade NC25. First time ko magkakaroon ng gantong foundation from MAC. Kasi ang meron lang ako is this Fix Plus and then yung um, eyeshadow na kulay green. I'll be grabbing my Swish na flat brush. And ayun, super puti niya pero like mag-oxidize pa siya mamaya. That's why lagi pag kumukuha ko ng makeup product and related sa face, lalo na kung foundation, powder foundation, or concealer, um, talagang tinitest ko kasi nga... Like, after a minute or so, alam mo na, ramdam mo na yung pagkaka-oxidize niya. And last time, nagtry ako ng NYX na foundation. Yung liquid foundation ng NYX, yung parang dropper. Like, tamang-tama yung shade niya sa akin. Pero like, nung nag-oxidize, grabe nang itim yung mukha ko doon. Ganda pala na finish na ito. Or maganda lang yung skin condition ko ngayon. That's why, ang ganda rin ang finish ng product. So, for the concealer, I'll be trying the new concealer from Benefit. So, this is the Boeing Cakeless Concealer. Ayan siya. Ang cute ang packaging, no? Parang school stuff. In the shade number 4. So, alam kong medyo ano to sa akin. Like, maputi talaga to. So, laki nung ano niya, no? Low foot applicator. And, ang pagkakaalala ko, medium yung coverage yung ano niya. Dang. Parang naging highlight. Wala ito yung inuna ko bago yung foundation para maganda yung pagkakaset niya. So, huwag kayong mag-alala. Mag-oxidize pa siya kahit ganyang kaputi. Tapos, iaano ko pa yung ibang areas. So, after that, balik tayo sa MAC Studio Fix Plus and then let's set it na. Grabe na, puti niya sa camera pero like sa personal, hindi siya ganun kaputi. Yan lang naman yung ko-correct ko since, ewan ko, gumaganda na yung skin condition ko simula nung hindi na ako nagpapalit-palit na facial products. Tapusin na muna natin yung sa face bago tayo pumunta sa eyes and sa brows. So, sa blush, I'll be using this Cheek Party from Benefit. Actually, lima siya. One, two, three. Oh, lima. Lima siya. So, tatlong blush and then dalawang contour and yung pang contour which is bronzer saka yung contour. So, hanapin ko lang kung anong gusto kong gamitin. So, since dalawa yung shade niya, isang hula light and then, ayan. Isang hula light and then ito, medyo lightish. Ay, dalas pala yung light. Pero alam ko hula light din ito eh. 
So for my chicks, like yung ko contour ko dito is this hula. Basta itong pang bronzer niya. Ito yung iyan ko. And then I'll be using this angled brush from Swish. So ito yung gagamitin ko. First time lang ako gagamit ng bronzer from Benefit. Kasi like brows lang yung binibig ko sa kanila. Bango niya. Let's try sa ating forehead. And let's brush yung mga excess product. Tignan nyo yung difference. Like, naging ano. First time lang makagamit ng Kula Bronzer. Then, I really like it. Na, Na-sculpt na yung face ko. And then, for my nose, since nga hindi, hindi matangas ang ilong natin, I'll be using this Rosy Bronze Blush. Ayan. Medyo lightish siya compared sa Kula. So, for my cheeks, I'll be using... Kasi this is Georgia. This is Dandelion. And then, ito parang may shimmer siya. Well, ito gagawin ko siyang highlighter. Dandelion na lang yung gagamitin ko as a blush. Bango niya talaga. <laughs> like, ayan, Dandelion. Parang um, soft blush lang yun. Nung... I-mimix ko na lang this one. This sunny golden pink blush. And then this dandelion. Nakalaglag na naman. Buti hindi nasira. Ayun. Buo pa rin siya. Parang may highlighter na siyang kasama. Ayan. Well, you have to apply more applications para mag-pop yung color niya. Kasi hindi rin ganun ka ano. Oh. As you can see, ito siya. Pigmented yung blush. Which, maganda siya. Kasi... Like, hindi mabibigla yung paglagay mo. Siyempre, ang hirap din kasing alisin nung pag masyadong marami naman. Mamayon tayo sa highlighter kasi hindi ko pa sure ko ano gagawin ko. Kaya inuna ko talaga yung cheeks. So, for our eyes. And as can see on my previous vlog, nagpa-lash lip ako. So, medyo mataas na po yung ating lashes. So, for the primer sa ating eyes, I'll be using this. Wala nga din katapusang Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Ayan. So, I'll just gonna apply it real quick. For the shadow, I'll be using this Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nakita nyo na to on my previous vlogs and lagi ko siya ginagamit since hindi na nga ako bumili pa ng mga bagong eyeshadow makeup product since sayang and hindi ko siya nauubos. Since this month is February, so love month, so I'll be doing uh, a pinkish, hindi nung classic, but a pinkish na parang magpi-theme talaga sa February. Starting off with Real Gar. Ayan siya. So, ito muna sa ating outer V. Ayan. So, parang may butterfly effect yung gagawin ko. Pero ganun talaga mag-makeup. Ewan kong bakit. So, the next one is V. Pag mix ko yung Venetian Red and then yung Love Letter, this two. So, ito lang yung kukunin kong brush para like small and ma-detail ko siya. What I hate about this palette, sobra siya mag-brush off. Hindi ko alam kung kita sa camera. Like, sayang yung product. Yun lang naman. Pero, the pigment and all, super ganda. Pero, like, nasasayangan ako sa mga na-fall off. And downwards. Like, kung ano na lang yung matira. Kasi, glitter na lang yung ilalagay ko sa kanya. So, parang may ombre effect siya pagdating dun sa dulo. Yeah, so it's dark <laughs> as you can see. Para lang mas soften up yung edges nung nasa taas. I'll be using this round eyeshadow brush and then I'll be choosing the one fesco this one. Don't worry about the sides, we'll carve it out later. After that, I have this Stila na highlighting. Basta I have this Stila na pang eyeshadow siya. Pwede siyang gawing na eyeliner. But for now, I'll be using it as a eyeshadow for my inner corners para magmukhang shimmery yung buong eye look. So I'll be using this Stila in the shade Rose Gold Retro. This is how it looks like. And I'll be grabbing a small flat brush para makover talaga yung pinaka inner. Hindi ko siya smudge but ya ano ko lang din siya nito flat brush. And super pigmented niya as you can see. That's why dapat maunti lang din yung paglalagay mo sa kanya. Kasi kung hindi, magme-mess talaga siya. Like this one, yung nangyayari ngayon. Yan. Kung ano lang yung natira, yun lang din ilalagay ko for my little lids. Di ba kayo nakikitan? Pero super ganda ng pagka-goldish niya. Kasi super pigmented niya, once na nilagay mo mismo dun sa eyelids, that's why ginaganto ko lang. Kasi sayang eh. Di mo rin naman magagamit halos. Kung nagbabala kayo bumili ng stila na makeup na ganito, I suggest bumili kayo nung like the mini ones. Meron sila na nakaset tatlong mini. But then, 
hindi ko chinos yon kasi like yung preferred na color ko is wala that's why i bought the big one this is how it looks like so after nyan, sure hindi mo wala yung eyeliner. <laughs> so sa eyeliner, I don't have any high end highliner, highliner, eyeliner, hi, eyeliner. So I'll be using my Maybelline na hyper sharp liner and I'll be right back. So I don't have any pag pagdating sa eyeliner, mascara, and then sa falsies. So na high end. So I'll be right back na lang para lahat ng may papakita ko sa inyo is high end. Okay, so done na ako sa eyes and as you can see, nilag ng ako siya ng medyo hard ish. Mukha siyang kaliskis, no? <laughs> Anyways, sa ating brows, I'll be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills na Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. To set it out, gagamiti ko tong Pump and Brow ni Dior Snow in the shade. Alam ko dark brown din. Anyway, so let's start sa ating brows para matapos na rin sa ating look. So I'm gonna be outlining it using this. Anastasia, the bro is. So you might be wondering, but hindi nilang yung bro pomade bayon ng Anastasia. Kasi like halos same lang naman sila ng consistency ni Benefit Cosmetics. Mas mahal lang si Anastasia. So we set na natin yung ating brows using this Dior Pump and Brow from Dior Snow. Actually, eto ano para lang din siyang Benefit na gimme brow. But this has a better tint than the Gimme Brow. So for our highlighter, I'm gonna be using this Georgia. This one gives us a champagne color, no? Tignan mo kita, pero ayan yung shimmer niya. It's a soft shimmer. So for our lips, before ko makalimutan, I'm gonna be using this MAC. Ito yung ni-endorse ni Lisa from Blackpink. This is the Mullet Over. Grabe, ito na ating pinaka-favorite kong shade this 2021. Tapos ang sarap pa ng lasa niya. Well, hindi siya pwedeng kainin, pero ang sarap ng lasa niya, legit. And I'm gonna be setting it out using this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Ito yung Orig. So, I don't want to be able to avoid And that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys like it. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And comment below if you like it or any video suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!